I wonder if you had any situation experience, like um, you're you're pursuing a goals or dreams, and you kept working hard and working hard, but it couldn't uh, achieve your goals for a very long time, and you felt like desperate and think about giving up. Have you ever had a situation like that, or like how did you deal with that? When you have a project, a big project, mm -hmm. and you want to, to succeed, of course you know it's, uh, it will be a long time, uh, a long work. You see, it takes at least 10 to 15 years to build the Red Flag Canal. To see uh, where you want to go, and not to see the difficulties where we go. Right. And, uh, you know, like you visited a lot of uh, uh, old generation here for uh, who, Unfortunately. <laughs> who joined a uh, Red Flag Channel project. Mm -hmm. uh, you heard their thoughts and their story. Um, how do you think of them? Well, I, th uh, I think uh, many things. First of all, uh, a very incredible work, sacrifice. Mm -hmm. When you see what has been done, uh, uh, it's very courageous. Very, you have to be thankful for that. Then I think it's in the in, in the in the value of the Chinese people, the sacrifice of itself or the others. Uh, you see the her heroism. Uh, it's a kind of uh, well. I think it's very very Chinese. In fact, it's in China and here. I think uh, it's much more integrated uh, to, to be a part of uh, a common will because I think the, the collective values are more important than the, than the individual one, which is not the case in many countries, yes. uh, especially in Occident, especially thinking of France about that. And uh, this uh, uh, pre preeminent part mm -hmm. of the collective uh, uh, against the individual, you can see it uh, everywhere as a, as a value which is uh, learned and which is integrated to the Chinese identity. Uh, every country builds its own history, and uh, the Canal du Drapeau Rouge is a part of the history, so they, they tell the story. <laughs>